In this video, I'm going to be debunking pretty much everything to do with that fake Tasmanian tiger you've seen going around the internet. Before me and excited reacted to another Forrest Galante video, I thought it best to address the comments and criticism that we'd received on making the Tasmanian tiger video. And in doing so, I actually ended up finding out a lot more than I expected, even possibly the identity of the person who sent those Tasmanian tiger photos to Forrest. So let's get on with the video then, shall we? I want to address the like the comments and feedback we got with the previous video, which was about the Tasmanian tiger. A lot of people thought I was like making fun of Forrest, which wasn't the intention. The intention was to poke fun at this guy giving Forrest this proof. And it, it made it made the, the shriek sound uh -huh. almost like a meow. <laughs> That's pretty good. And when somebody wants to believe something so badly. I want to believe. I really, really want to believe. Any bit of evidence like, whoa, maybe actually. I didn't mean for it to go that way. I was more laughing at this person who was like stumbling over his words and trying to like put this story together, which made like literally no sense. But I will say that the one photo that Forrest did um, find very convincing was the one where it didn't even look like a Tasmanian tiger when it was looking at the uh, the camera head on. Now that one's pretty uh, pretty on the money. <laughs> That's the face of the animal. He's, he's never seen one, you know, so how could he know? True, but we saw that old footage, like the footage of the, um, the, the one in the zoo. And when you compare that to what this one looked like head on, the, the head shape's completely off. Big head. He had a huge head! Tiny head. T t that's, that's my dog. He has a tiny head. We got him from Romania. He's a little mutt. His body's a normal sized <laughs> dog, but then his head's like chihuahua sized. <laughs> Forrest said that he would give an update if anything happened. And I saw another guy who covers sort of this cryptid stuff in the and he's like UK based. He said he got in touch with Forrest, asked if there had been any update. I messaged Forrest, really cool video, well done. Has there been an update? Because at the end of Forrest's video, he did ask this guy to send him the original photos. So Forrest asked him, can you send over these photos? Now I asked Forrest, did this happen? Did he send them over? And Forrest said, no, there's been no update on that so far. Red flag. I mean, at that point, it's pretty obvious that, you know, it, it's, it's a hoax. This is why we can't have nice things. And since I made my video, even more of the photos have been debunked. For instance, this was the one Forrest was most skeptical of. This last one is the only one to me that looks like a drawing. And he had right to do so, because if we just take a look at this thylacine picture that Archer Sutures posted, all we have to do to recreate this is to take the head and the legs. And already we've got half the animal. Now you might be thinking, well, what about the back? That looks completely different to the back on there. And you would be right. But all we have to do for that one is take another picture from Archer Suchus's uh, thylacine. And there you go. You have the back. And before you know it, you've pretty much recreated with just simple cutting out and rotation that exact same thylacine. This was the one from my previous video that we debunked. I thought this one's pretty, this is the worst oh, one. I've just seen that. Showcasing that it was pretty much just that head puppet that wasn't made. But if you were still unconvinced and you were like, well, what about the teeth down here and, and the gum line? Well, Archer Suchus made this picture and this one really closely matches the teeth there. And all you have to do is just move it down a little bit around and you've got that dark line mark from it. And finally, the easiest one to debunk was this image that I've brightened from a screenshot from Forrest's video. So sadly, this is the most like big footy of all the photos, but it's the first one that came up. And that one was super easy. It is literally just this picture. You can just flick between the two and the markings literally match up. The legs don't, but that takes no effort at all. All you do is just cut it out and move it around. And there you have it. Three of the photos now have been debunked. As Forrest is an expert on the subject, this kind of looks bad for him. He needs to either take the video down or post an update to the video addressing the situation and how he was taken advantage of by a guy who just did some Photoshop. A simple mistake for someone who's not media literate like a lot of people online. That's like reflection. Yeah. That's a hard thing. Like, I don't care what yellow marker you have or anything. Like, that's pretty hard to get that, right? right? Yeah, absolutely. That one really looks like eye shine. The fact he didn't do any due diligence or look to see if these pictures existed anywhere online is bad enough. 
But there is something to have been said for this though. On the day Forrest Galante published his thylacine video, 24 hours before that, Archisuchus had posted pictures of his thylacine doll on Twitter. The same model and the same photos I've used to debunk the ones sent to Forrest Galante. And this might be more than just a coincidence. What if Archisuchus is this turtle guy? As in Forrest's video, he says that they've been in contact long before the publishing of it. It says April 22nd, which is the day after you guys contacted me. They first made contact on April 21st. And what did Archer Suchas post on April 21st? Responding to an image asking what would be better than sex. And they say, a living Tasmanian tiger in 2024. So that would mean that Archer Suchas sent his pictures to try and fool Forrest Galante. Of course, this is all speculation. And it's also a coincidence that on the exact same day the video goes live, you would notice it and start talking about the video. But why would Archer Suchus want to trick Forrest Galante into believing that there was an actual Tasmanian tiger out there? We don't have to look far to find the answer. In the post Archer Suchus talks about the images sent to Forrest Galante, he says, and I quote, This isn't my art, the timing is a coincidence, and it's not me in the vid. Me thinks you protest too much! I don't believe in Forrest after that jawbone incident either. Real or not, I'm pretty aggravated with the stories he uploads. So, we have a motive. This guy doesn't like Forrest, and he doesn't like the stuff he makes on YouTube. So what better way to get back at the guy than to trick him into thinking someone found a real Tasmanian tiger? Archer Suchus already has the doll and the Photoshop skills needed in order to make it look convincing. And possibly one final piece of evidence to this hypothetical puzzle was when he said this in the interview. And so I, I snapped a few pictures to them, like, I don't know what this is, I'm gonna send them to Henry because he knows yeah. mammals and stuff. Yeah. I'm the turtle guy. And after combing through Archer Suchus's Twitter feed, would you believe I found this? Lots and lots of turtles. Honestly, you can't even make this up. There's a video where he practically shows you all of the turtles and terrariums he has in this room. Now, unfortunately, you can't really hear his voice very well. As far as I'm aware, this is the only video that exists where he actually speaks in it. And if he knows how to use Photoshop and all those other tricks, I wouldn't put it past him being able to pitch shift his voice down and stuff like that when it came to the interview. But let it be said, this is one hell of a big coincidence. So let's put it all out there. We have the images sent to Forrest dated on the 22nd of April. Then the images were published in Forrest's video on the 15th of May. Archisuchus then posts his images of the fake ones that were used to forge the ones sent to Forrest. And those ones were only published on the 17th of May. Which means that these photos must have been taken much earlier, predating the 22nd of April, if they were used in the making of the faked photos. There really isn't anyone else who had access to these photos. Unless Archisuchus sent them to somebody else and then they faked it. And seeing as he's the one who's made the puppet and took the photos, they are going to be the only ones who know the truth. Or at least know the person who's done this. And if his goal was really to make Forrest look like a bad source of news to go to, especially for Tasmanian tigers, well he did it. The guy made a video and almost got a million views on his own hoax. But hey, that's just a theory. A beaver theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> But as it stands, I think Forrest, for the betterment of his credibility and his fans, needs to come out and say that these are hoaxes now. The photos have been debunked, the story never made sense when he told it to him. All that he needs to say is that he fell for a story and it wasn't really his fault. Because let's be honest, this is what he does now. He looks for extinct species. So, what can I say? In the end, I'm kind of annoyed at both of them. I'm annoyed at the person who came to Forrest with a story trying to pretend that he'd actually seen a Tasmanian tiger. And I'm annoyed at Forrest for perpetuating it and bringing it to a louder audience and making my job so much more annoying and having to debunk it. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. We will react to another Forrest video in the coming uh, day or so, I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye